Like, I'm not going any, like, I'm just, I don't know, living life. What the f am I talking about? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a haul. I haven't done a haul before, I'm not sure how I feel about them, but I know that they're popular and lots of you guys would like to see it. So recently Sephora did their annual, they might do it twice a year, so maybe semi-annual, VIB sale for their VIB members. So basically, if you enroll in their VIB program, that's their rewards program, you get a free little gift during your birthday month, and you also accrue points every time you purchase something that's redeemable in little products or services. And then lastly, there is this VIB sale that I was telling you about where you get 20% off. Um, I went a little bit crazy. Hopefully my husband is not watching this video, but if you guys would like to see what I got, keep watching. All right, so let's go ahead and dive in. I'm just gonna kind of like reach in. I did buy everything myself. I didn't buy it in one go. I did buy it over the course of the sale. They did, for whatever reason this year, have like two different time periods. I don't know if one was for Rouge and then the other was for other VIB members. Rouge is their top tier level, but anyhow, let's go ahead and get started. I just did film a tutorial using this eyeshadow palette. I picked up the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette, and so far, I mean, this is a cult favorite for a reason. It's really good. This is what it looks like. The packaging is beautiful. And then on the inside, it looks like this. And this is really nice. I wanted this for my kit. Just so many matte shades in warms, neutrals. You've got your great black. This is a great product. I did splurge. This is the VisaArt Warm Neutrals. And man, I think these might be the best shadows that I have ever used. This is super expensive in my opinion. I mean, it's not Natasha Denona expensive, but this is what it looks like. And it was developed for artists, makeup artists. It has that clear case so you can kind of see there's no guessing game, which is really nice when you're working. You know exactly what to grab. The pigment in these shadows is really unparalleled. This is such a nice range of colors. I really, really love these shadows and I will probably be getting more of them. My light is so weird. There is like a window in front of me, like up high. It's a skylight thing and it just gives this bar of light. I can't stand it, but I really don't know where else I'm gonna film. I don't have to think about that. I will say I purchased the Prism Palette, the Anastasia Prism Palette. And I did like it a lot. I ended up having to return it because I had this really crazy reaction. My eyes have been really weird lately. Um, so I'm trying to figure out exactly what it is I'm allergic to, if it's an allergy or just I'm getting irritated. But I did return the Anastasia Prism Palette, so that was a bummer. All right, so I picked up two of the Huda Beauty Obsessions Mini Palettes. I've done a look with the Electric version. These are gorgeous. I feel like if you don't have a colorful palette to play with yet, this is one, I mean, I'm trying to remember, I think it was in the $20 range, which is not bad for a high-end brand. And sometimes you get some of these like more vibrant, bright colors and they're just chalky. I will say I have the BH Cosmetics Brazil palette, which is Fabulous, but there are shades in here that are not in that palette plus these shimmers are to die for I'm not gonna swatch. I mean, it'll take me way too long to swatch everything that I got But just know that if I'm talking about it, I like it. It's good and if you've been thinking about it then I obviously Think it's worth it and you should get it this video is completely not sponsored, by the way. I just have a major sickness that is basically, I am a makeup addict and yeah, I am. But I really didn't buy anything all year round. I waited for this sale because I know it happens every year. Now this is the Mauve 
Obsessions palette and this is what it looks like on the inside. This shade right here is so different. Huda has done like an amazing job with these textured, shimmery shadows. They're, they're just different. They're not like the same old, same old, but the mattes are really nice too and they blend it out great. So then every time there's a sale, I always try and stock up on things that I know I'm going to need even if I don't need them at the moment because let's face it, 20% off, that's a really good deal. So I just went ahead and I restocked my Goof Proof pencil and precisely my brow pencil from Benefit. I really love these brow products. I get it in the shade too. I know nobody from Benefit is watching my video, but just in case they are, you guys need to come out with something that has a little bit more red in it because number two, it just looks a little too brown. It needs to be a little warmer. So I also get the Anastasia Brow Wiz in the shade Caramel. I find that if I really want my brows to look as natural as possible, shade two in the Benefit brow line is just a little off. I use usually the Benefit brow gel. I really like it, but I wanted to go back and just try the Anastasia, Anastasia one again. Is it Anastasia or Anastasia? Because I feel like I heard somewhere that it's Anastasia, but I don't hear people saying Anastasia. If you know, please let me know in the comment section below. So anyways, I went ahead and picked this one up because I wanted to compare it. Also, it was a little bit cheaper, so yeah. I'm gonna need to compare how much product is in it. I didn't even think about that. So anyways, I got these four brow products. Next, digging into my bag of goodies, I got this Written in the Stars set. It's the Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow. It's like the longest freaking name. Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Eyeshadows. Typically, I believe they're, I wanna say like 24, 25 dollars and the whole set was like 24 bucks. It comes with Diamond Dust, Kitten Karma, and Smoky Storm. I did just film a tutorial before this, just a simple how to eye makeup and I did kind of spruce it up a little bit for this video and I went in and I played with all three of those colors and I'll get closer I used them as eyeliners because you can use them as eyeshadow you can use them as glitter you can really blend them out I really do like the product a lot and I'll swatch one just so you can kind of like see the intensity of it so if you're looking to play with glitter this is kind of a fun way and it really doesn't make a mess. And that's my biggest thing with glitter. Next thing that I got was this. I wanted to try, I've heard so much about the Milk Blur Stick and what it is, it's basically a primer. It's basically a primer, just kind of like an innovative way of putting it on. You just put it in your problem areas if you want because I've kind of noticed I really love those luminous primers but then I don't really want that all over my face and this is just actually really quick and easy to just go in and fill where your pores are and I feel like my products like my concealer and foundation lay over it so nicely everything looks so smooth and seamless so this milk one this is small I imagine it's gonna last a pretty long time and it was only $14 I mean $14 isn't crazy if you're looking to try it they do have a bigger one so We'll see how much in the end I really love it if I go for the big one. Next up, I have been wanting to try the Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder for the longest. I mean, I don't know if you guys know who Kevin Aquan is or not, but he himself made such a name for himself. He made or wrote whatever you want to say, created several books that are phenomenal making faces. I had to have been like 15 and I would just like sit in my room and like turn the pages and try to recreate everything that that man did because he was genius. I mean, you think of highlighting and contouring. I mean, that man, I feel like created that, but I, I don't want to make these bold statements because honestly, I don't really know. I just look up to him. I think he's awesome. He has a pretty pricey makeup line. He is no longer with us himself, but his name is carried on through his brand. So that's kind of cool. And I finally did go and try this back to this. <laughs> 
I'm not going off on a tangent at all. Okay, so this is actually like a little duo. It's pretty small. I didn't want to get the full size one just in case it was this overhyped thing that I didn't like. So this is what it looks like on the inside. And this is such an amazing, I feel like it is worth the hype. Like it is so silky smooth. I mean, if you're new to contouring, the color is just right. What a contour is supposed to look like is a shadow. And if you look at a shadow, if you look at this space right here that's created between your jawline and your neck, it's cool. It's almost gray. And I feel like this is such a spot on color. And then this is a little highlighter that comes with it. It's pretty, I mean, I'll use it. Sometimes if I'm just, you know, running around doing errands, I'll just throw that on my nose. And it does look really pretty. Around here though, it's just not enough. Boom, it doesn't pack enough punch for me. But 25 bucks, I don't know. I really recommend this. I think this was great. Okay. Oh, I have another eyeshadow thing that I didn't, I have not tried this yet. So this is ColourPop. I don't know if you guys, if you're watching this and you're a makeup person, you know what ColourPop is, but if you're one of my friends or family members, you probably don't. But ColourPop, I would say, used to be considered an indie brand. It's moving into the mainstream light very quickly. They just went into Sephora. There's limited items available, but they're known for their super shock eyeshadow formula, and that's what this is. Oh my gosh, like it just feels so different, and I know that the camera's not going to pick this up, but this is in the shade Bouncy. I don't know, it has like all of these different shades in it. It's like, I don't even know what to call the base shade. It's like bronzy, pinky, with like green. I'm describing this and it sounds terrible. Three more items left. This is the Anastasia Glow Kit in Sugar. Oh my God, you guys. I used this in my last tutorial. I used it to pop a little bit of brow bone highlight and inner corner highlight, but I have today, like right through here and here, I used Starburst with a combination of marshmallow and like under my eye, and in my tear duct, I have just marshmallow. It's such a pretty color. Gumdrop is so pretty. I don't know, Butterscotch is the only one I'm not in love with because it has, I can't see stand glitter in my face highlighter. Can't stand it. And then I did finally pick up this Makeup Forever, the Starlit Powder, and this is in the shade 13. Holy cow, you guys. If you want a pop and highlight, this will do the trick. Oh my God, it is gorgeous. I feel like maybe I'll just pop some right here so you can see it. I don't know, I feel like you can see the difference. There you go. I think that you could see. Yeah. And then, finally, I think I'm actually all done. I know you guys, I went crazy. Okay, so finally I did get, this is my favorite, I think my favorite gloss, the Buxom Full On Lip Polish, and this is in the shade Star. I think they're typically a $20 gloss, and they were doing their weekly wow. It was $10, I was so mad, everything was already sold out. It was $10 plus 20% off. I wanted to get like every shade, but I'm wearing this today. That's what that looks like. Again, this is in the shade Star. I think my all time favorite shade is Sugar. It's just really light. But this one is like a berry with like a gold glitter in it. And I say glitter, but I mean, I don't like the glittery metallic-y lip but it just catches the light in just the right way. I just think it's beautiful. It has this minty feel to it. It's refreshing. It's super shiny, but it's not super sticky. I'm not quite sure how they created this formula because it's not, it's definitely not super sticky like your MAC lip gloss or anything like that. So thank you so much for watching and hanging out. If you did like this video, please give me a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe before you leave if you haven't already. And if you'd like to know when I upload, make sure you hit that notification bell as well before you go. And if you guys bought anything from the Sephora VIB sale that you absolutely love, please let me know down in the comment section below. All right, guys, I'll see you next time. Bye.